Hey guys, VRNR back, and today we're going to be doing another video on this Yamaha Warrior. It is a 1999 Warrior, but this is going to work for pretty much all the years on the Warriors. I think besides 87 through 88 that had the pull start, I think it's a bit different. But today we're going to be uh, going over the clutch release mechanism and how to reassemble that. And I'm going to show you guys step for step. So let me get all, get all the parts ready and we'll get right to it. Alright guys, so we're all set up here, and to start off with, you're going to have to get a seal kit for this, because there's a seal that goes right in here, and I'm going to show you guys how to install that. Just let me get the seal. Alright guys, got my seal. It's right here. So, you're going to want to install this, so you're going to have one side that has a metal ring inside of it. You're going to want to install that down, and you're going to want to have the flat side facing up. So you're going to take your case. You're going to just stick that guy right in there. Sometimes they'll just push in. Sometimes not. You're just going to want to push that guy right down in there. Just like that. You're just going to want to make sure it's seated all the way, though. So I'm going to grab a hammer and a punch. And just make sure this guy's seated all the way. Alright guys, you want to be very careful when you're doing this. You want to make sure you're driving it in straight. Alright guys, got my seal in. Looking pretty good, nice and flush. And when, you, when you're hitting that in, you want to make sure you're careful and you're using a rubber end because this is just a seal. You damage it quite easily. So, Alright, up next guys, you got a brass bushing that has to go in on the back side of the seal right in here. You're going to want to be careful when you're installing this because it's just brass. You're going to want to set that in there. This is going to be kind of tough to do. You want to just set that guy in there. Make sure he's going, oh, it's going right in. You're going to have to tap that in. I recommend a brass punch. But I don't have a brass punch. So I'm going to use a rubber end of a mallet again. So let me grab that. Alright guys, you're going to want to hit this until it's fully seated flush with your case just like that I don't know if you guys can see in there but that is just below the case so we're looking pretty good and it goes right up until just about it hits the seal so alright guys up next once you got your brass fitting in you're going to want to grab uh, what would we call this? 12. Mm, it says push rod in the manual, so we're going to call that what this guy is. It's got some teeth on him, and you're going to want to make sure your parts are clean. You're going to take some... If I were you, this is just me. I would take a little bit of grease and just coat the bottom of that guy because this guy moves. And then that guy just slides right into your center slot. Just like that. And he just sits in there. And then that part's done. Alright guys, then up next you're going to take this gear that I was showing you earlier. And you're going to slide it in here like this. And push that shaft back down. 
There you go, just like that. Now, you want, when you are you push your clutch rod, you want to see that gear that we installed earlier move up and down, just like that. Looks great. And, then, and also, one more thing, guys. Before you have this shaft slid all the way down into its place into those splines, you want to make sure that you have this lined up properly. You don't want to have it 180 degrees out. You want to make sure it's where it needs to be. So you're going to want it probably right about there. So you want it, you want to put the rod in where you want your cable to sit disengaged and you want to make sure that this is all the way down so that when it is engaged, it pulls it up just like that. See that guys? Just like that. And then after that, you want to install a washer. And then a C-clip. C-clip goes on the end just like that. Just like that, guys. There you go. And now, you have a fully assembled... Oh, fully assembled clutch release arm mechanism thanks for watching guys